When you hear wine tours and wine tastings, you probably either think of northern Michigan, Napa Valley, or even France or Italy. Well, you can tour a full production winery and tasting room right here in Detroit. It can be a fun and even educational experience. That's a good way to put it. I like that. And we are joined by Chris Southern, the winemaker and general manager of Detroit Vineyards. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Everybody loves the guy who shows up with wine. Is that not true? <laughs> Sometimes, most Sometimes. of the time. Sometimes, okay, I think most of the time, yeah, I yeah. would guess. So what are three things that people should consider when it comes to choosing a wine? First of all, do you like it? Um, but yeah. also, I think, you know, supporting local is super important. Um, so everything that we make comes from a small family farm in Michigan. Okay. Um, and we produce it without a lot of additives and stuff. So this is actually a fairly healthy product to okay. consume. Okay, everybody likes to feel like they're putting the best things in their body, mm -hmm. even when they're indulging in a glass of wine. Of now you said that the, Mich the grapes come from northern Michigan? We actually work with growers as far south as Berrien Springs okay. and as far north as Lake Willanaw. So we have pretty much the entire west coast of the state of Michigan. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So how do you produce the wines in Detroit? I freight everything back. I have a small team of three, and between the three of us, we freight everything back to the winery, crush it, and make it into juice right here in Detroit. All right, so we know how it's made, but you know everybody wants to taste. Yes. So what kind of tasting and tours do you offer? Uh, we're open Wednesday through Sunday for standard wine tasting. Um, we have tours Wednesday through Saturday as well. Mm -hmm. You can book all of those on our websites. We typically pour a flight of five wines. We can taste a few today. Um, and we waive the cost of the tasting with a three bottle purchase. Okay, so I mean, if you insist, I mean, I can't have I you do. come all the way here and not taste. So tell us about the wines that you've brought in. Got a little bit of everything here, but let's start with some Marsan. Um, we buy the fruit for this from Domaine Berrien Vineyard in southwest Michigan. Uh, it's a grape that's uh, native to the Rhone in France. And it's super beautiful, bright acidity, honeysuckle notes. Please do. Okay. Fermented and aged all in stainless steel. It's nice. That's very nice. Good. That's mm. cool. So in the next one. Then we've got some Pinot Noir. This comes from Herman Farms uh, Vineyard, also in southwest Michigan. Super steep hillside planting, the same elevation as the city water tower. Mm. Um, it's very Burgundian light, um, nice Bing cherry flavors. Mm, it already smells good. A little cigar okay, box. Okay. So as I'm tasting this, let's talk about wine pairings with wine and food. Mm -hmm. How can people learn more about what goes best together? I think that typically you want to just make sure that you're not overpowering the wine or the food. So something like a big steak needs a big wine to stand up to it, more like a Cabernet Sauvignon. Something a little more delicate, like a poached fish, maybe a white wine or even a Pinot Noir would be good with that. Mm -hmm. um, or just, you know, I like to have charcuterie for dinner, so some, that goes great with Pinot Noir as well. Okay, so I mean, if we're cooking a dinner, we could just come and buy a bottle of wine and you can suggest Please. What, go, what would go best Absolutely. with roast chicken. Yeah. And I don't know, roasted butternut squash, maybe? Yep, and we can do risotto. that. risotto? Yeah. <laughs> we actually have a dinner series coming up, too. We have dinner at the winery tomorrow and then next Friday, so we'll be pairing our wines with um, food produced by our tasting manager. Love um, it. But we're happy to recommend anytime. Okay, that's what people need. Because we think we know, but we need an expert to help us out. And get We're the happy to help. Bottle of wine. All right. So where can people learn more about Detroit Vineyards? Uh, DetroitVineyards.com or check us out on Facebook or Instagram. Everything you need is going to be there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much thank for being you. with us. Have a good day.